<laughs> my levels were always within the normal range. Um, my blood pressure has always been fine. Is this, is this bringing back some nice memories for me. 52-year-old Gloria Kingstrom okay. is healthy, but the early deaths of her father and three uncles from heart attack have haunted her. Perhaps I was not going to be you know, living a long time. <laughs> now she thinks she will. In a landmark study, doctors, for the first time ever, have used a cholesterol-lowering drug called a statin to prevent heart attacks and strokes in people with normal cholesterol levels. We were shocked to see that the benefit was as large as it is. The trial, called Jupiter, followed almost 18,000 patients with normal cholesterol but elevated C-reactive protein, or CRP, which indicates inflammation in the body. The drug resuvastatin lowered heart attacks by 54 percent, strokes by 48 percent, and deaths by 20 percent. The dramatic results may change the way doctors think about preventing clogged arteries. We've known that half of all heart attacks and strokes occur among apparently healthy men and women with average or even low levels of cholesterol. In the study, doctors used a statin because it lowers not only cholesterol, but inflammation. As cholesterol builds up in arteries, it irritates the inside lining leading to inflammation. A swollen plaque forms and can eventually rupture, causing a clot that blocks blood flow, which can result in a heart attack or stroke. The Jupiter study shows that when you treat inflammation, independent of other risk factors for heart disease, you can reduce first heart events. So though Gloria Kingstrom's blood and stress tests were fine, her doctor measured her CRP oh. level. <laughs> She's been on Lipitor for six weeks now. Uh, physically, no, I don't feel different. Um, emotionally, I, I feel much better. <laughs> the study was funded by the company that makes resuvastatin, and the lead author holds patents related to the use of the CRP test. Randall? Dr. Lapook, does this mean that the test for CRP will now become part of the routine screening when you have your annual physical? Randall, it's already part of it for some doctors, but the problem is we haven't really known what to do with the test when it comes back elevated. And now we have a study showing we can give a statin and it can actually make a difference in terms of lowering the risk of heart attack and stroke. But I would hate for this to mean that people ignore the other risk factors. Cholesterol is still very important. It's important to control diabetes, hypertension, to do exercise, a lot of that, and eat correctly. You don't want people sitting around eating potato chips, getting fatter, getting diabetic hypertensive, and thinking that they're perfectly safe because they're popping a pill that lowers their cholesterol and lowers their CRP. Dr. Lapook, thank you very much.